We've got some breaking news tonight, folks, in another one of the big cases that we're covering here on Court TV. Let's take it into Joy Lim Nacker, Court TV legal correspondent who was in the studio with the latest on the Gone Girl mom. What's the big news tonight? Well, Vinny, finally, after all this time, Sherry Papini has acknowledged that she actually did fake her own kidnapping back in 2016. She's pleaded guilty now to charges of lying to a federal officer and also mail fraud. She said in a statement in part, quote, I'm deeply ashamed of myself for my behavior and so very sorry for the pain I've caused my family, my friends, all the good people who needlessly suffered because of my story and those who worked so hard to try to help me. I will work the rest of my life to make amends for what I have done. Remember, the 39-year-old sparked a three-week search across California and several other states before finally she was found apparently beaten with remnants of bindings on her wrists and ankles some 150 miles from her home. Remember, she had bruises, a swollen nose, a burned forearm, rashes, ligature marks, a blurred brand on her shoulder. And prosecutors say she actually injured herself to back up her false statements. Remember, she even gave the FBI, uh, the sketch artist, a detailed description of two Hispanic women that she claimed kidnapped her at knife point. And she got some $30,000 in reimbursements from the California Victims Compensation Fund, Vinny. And you know, obviously the penalty is extreme. It's, it's high, it's serious. Five years uh, is the maximum in federal prison for lying to federal agents, up to 20 years for mail fraud. Not clear what punishment she will face in this particular plea deal, though, Vinny. Yeah, the big problem with these hoaxes is that people who are actual victims then get questioned, right? And people are less likely to believe them, whether it's a jury or it's the investigators looking at the case. All right, a lot of trials we're covering on Court TV. Let's begin with the novel.